we have been working on a memoir writing project called Sitting at the Feet of Our Muncie Elders with Dr. Darylyn Jones. And we have been working to get senior stories from the senior homes here at Muncie and also working with them individually and just really getting to know who they are, what they've been through, whether they're Muncie residents or from wherever they're from and really getting to know them and share their stories. And we help them find their stories of grit and resiliency because we firmly believe that these people have amazing words of wisdom and incredible stories that need to be shared. So we took it up as our mission to find their stories and, and compile them into a really neat memoir where we can publish and send to bookstores and libraries all over. And we're doing really unique uh, work with these stories where we're recomposing them. The students are composing them as graphic stories or as poetry or, you know, flash fiction. Really just all these different types of genres. So we just really want to take their stories, treat them with respect and get them out so people can hear them and see what they have to learn from them. These are folks who have survived and thrived and lived amazing lives. And, you know, the reality is they're not going to be here a long time and we need to get these stories out and I have to tell you it's been an emotional semester. Really we just go and really have a conversation with them and we just try to we record them or some of them like to write their own stories and then we kind of draft it like workshop with those stories sometimes they liked us to write them and then we'd come back and show them what we'd written and then we'd work on that. But yeah, so the usual process is just going on in and really just having a conversation and connecting with them. And sometimes I do ask them a specific prompt, but we talk about it and it's not just me like just telling them what to do. It's me like having conversation with them, seeing how I can make that story even bigger. What details do I really need to figure out um, to make this story? We just uh, get to step out of the classroom. We get to talk to people and meet people. And it's not just about sitting there and listening to a lecture uh, for an hour, an hour and 15 minutes. We're doing so much more than that. And, and we're putting a lot of our own time, uh, in addition to class time, into this class, but again, it has not felt like work or it's not been a struggle. It's It's been challenging at times to get everything done and everything in, but it's it's been a lot of fun. I've definitely learned a lot of communication skills, especially working with seniors, getting them to open up and really trust me with their story because I am a college student and they might not think like, oh, I'm, not interested. I'm just doing this for a class. So I've learned how to communicate with them and showing them that I really care and that this is something serious that I really enjoy to do. I'm not just doing it for a grade. I'm doing it because I care about your story. Like learning how to teach these individuals to like really get into the nitty-gritty details of their stories. I feel like I've walked away with a much better grasp at teaching somebody how to really, really get into the details and really flesh out their own stories. A memoir was a completely different um, subject for me, and I actually really liked it. I um, I learned about you know telling my story and then learning how to tell other people's story, and in a way that is relatable. And so it's been really wonderful to see how they have adopted some of the strategies um, and, and things that the seniors do as unschooled writers and put it into their writing. So it's been a really amazing semester. The thing that I primarily I want, first of all, my students to understand that seniors are brilliant human beings and they all have realized that. They're like, you cannot believe what she did or how she lived. Secondly, I want them to really learn about what it's like to be trusted with someone's story. And I also want them to learn some real skills that they'll use out in the real world. I mean, they're gonna learn in design. They're gonna learn how to design and lay out a book. You know, which font do you use? Where, how do, where do you put the margins? The book cover is everything. Where do you place this? Our goal is once we have all these stories of resistance and resiliency, and, and is that we, first of all, we're gonna publish them and it will be a community anthology. And we're also going to recompose elements of all of the text into a performance, which we're really excited about. And then February and March is really gonna be about, we're gonna be working like a real editing sort of team in the classroom. There's gonna be people doing design and layout. There's gonna be students uh, with doing the editing. There's gonna be students working on the performance. I really want this to be multi-layered 
real world stuff for especially for those of us that want to pursue something like this later.